Hey everyone, Erica from Rare Dandel, and I am so excited because the new collection dropped just a few days ago and already people are talking about how much they love the new um, travel inspired dandels. They're all a little bit different, so it's less cohesive as a collection, but each piece has a story and they are so fun. So today I'm gonna quick share with you a little bit about each dirndl and where the inspiration came from and then show you the promo that's going on for just two more days. This promo is only good until Friday. So I'm gonna start with my favorite piece which is the Ghana Dirndl. And it's my favorite because it means a lot to me because it's inspired by my trip to Ghana um, back in 2007 when I went with my study abroad group um, when I was studying in college. So this is the Ghana Dirndl. And I know the video here, we only trying to turn it a little down. There we go. So it's got a green chiffon apron, black peach skin skirt, which is great for travel because it doesn't wrinkle very easily. And then the bodice is a kente cloth inspired print. So it's not actually kente cloth because that's hand woven and this is not, this is a cotton, but it's in the same fashion as what kente cloth would look like. And that is a fabric native to Ghana. And then I mixed it with another African wax print because the, um, one of the things I noticed over there is that these African women have an uncanny and wonderful knack for mixing prints. So this is my attempt at mixing prints like a fabulous African woman, which it's not, it's it's great, I love the colors, but I couldn't commit to doing full print on print on print. Um, so I did the apron ties and then the green chiffon skirts. So I'm gonna go to the next one, which is the Iceland Dirndl. This is a plus size exclusive, so only available in size 16 and up. And this is really nice. It's got some hand pleated trim here with some braided trim inside and this beautiful um, kind of light taupe damask fabric and um, a burgundy apron. And this is kind of in a version of red, white, and blue like their flag, but not like red, white, and blue, you know? So it's navy and burgundy and this light taupe, which is so pretty. Um, and it's got almost an icy quality to it, but still really elegant. Next, moving on to the Quebec Dirndl, which is inspired by ice canyoning in the forest, which Ashley from mywanderlustylife.com went, and this is inspired by her trip. So it's a really nice icy silver crepe back satin, and then it's really fun wood print, which has a little bit of metallic in it, which is really nice. And then the lace up front is um, silver and gold chain with a, um, Cut, uh, chiffon skirt or apron excuse me and then trimming on the bottom love this piece this is the Quebec Dirndl next is also from uh, Ashley's trips her trip to Belize this time so really bright tropical colors here turquoise and then this beautiful textured ribbon tool with some sequins kind of like what you would see underwater when you're snorkeling love this Dirndl this is the Belize Dirndl all right, now switching gears, these next two pieces were inspired by Christina's travels and she is from happytowander.com. And this is in the Indonesia dirndl. This dirndl, they are known for their batik fabrics. While this isn't an actual batik, it's again a really beautiful replica print that's ombre, so you're just changing from um, dark, it was originally brown all the way on the bottom, up into a lighter turquoise up here. Hand pleated trimming around the neckline with some braided in between. And then the apron is that print with a chiffon overlay. So it's a subtle look, which I really, really love. And these layers upon layers, kind of like when you would go to the, when I saw her going to the markets and there's just layers and layers of stuff you can buy. You've got layers here. Um, really fun. I love this piece. The next one, she went to the Netherlands and she found some beautiful tulip fields and she was like frolicking in them and it was so gorgeous. So this is an inspired by her trip where she was frolicking in the tulip fields. Here we have a really cool magenta chambray, which you can see is kind of an iridescent quality to it. Hand pleated trimming, kind of looks like the tip of a tulip and uh, ribbon and chain lace up, floral apron, again, peach skin skirt, which is great for travel. Um, and then last but not least, 
the Morocco dirndl. So this whole kind of travel thing started when I was like reminiscing about my grandparents and how they used to travel all over the world. And um, one of the places they loved to go was North Africa, Africa, the Middle East, unusual places. They're not typically like, let's go to the Caribbean. So one of their first trips, their first trip to Africa was to Northern Africa and to Morocco. And so this piece is inspired by that. You've got kind of this darker taupe, which is again, peach skin, great for travel. Um, like the sands of the Sahara. And then you have this beautiful, um, burnout fabric and it's so it's got some texture to it uh, it's like a intentionally a little bit wrinkly which is I love less ironing um, and this looks a lot like um, at the markets where you'd see all the spices layers and layers and baskets and bushels of uh, spices and herbs and just really pretty and then the bodice is a suede and then you have your coral lace up front this, the Iceland and the Netherlands Dirndl are part of the um, exclusive plus size Dirndls for this collection. I'm going to tell you briefly what the difference is. The difference is in the um, styling and fit. So I worked with a couple ladies that gave me great pointers and we worked on the fit and we worked on the design for months to get it right. And so the style lines in the back are a little bit different. You'll notice that these style lines curve in more towards the center back. The center front style lines are changed a little bit and then you can't see it while it's hanging here, but it shapes more. It shapes to um, the bust line better than before and the bodices are all reinforced so they are going to be really nice and curve and hold your body in. It's going to be fabulous. These pieces are all exclusive 16 and up. The other dirndls are starting at size 2 through depending on how much I got out of it. So this one I was able to get up to a size 14 before the fabric ran out. This I started at size six and got up to 16 before the fabric ran out. So it just kind of sees how much I can get out of the fabric I buy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and learning a little bit more about these dirndls. Before I pop off, I am gonna show you quickly what's in the swag bag. Order any of these dirndls this week and you will get a travel gift bag that has so much stuff in it, it's, it's crazy. There's over $70 worth of things. You have a scarf that you can use to tag your luggage, a coloring book to keep busy on the airplane, Advil in case you have a headache, a custom travel guide that'll tell you a little bit about the dirndl, and my favorite thing is the passport holder. So it fits just your passport. That's all you need in here. Quick flap, and then this is a crossbody like that, and it's adjustable with a safety pin. And, or you can wear it around your neck, again, adjustable with a safety pin, and then you wear this under your clothes. I traveled with something exactly like this when I went to Ghana. I was never had my passport separated from me so that even if I got pickpocketed, even if something happened, I had my passport. So I kept a couple bucks in here and my passport, and you can keep this on you, under your clothes. It's so thin, that's all you need. And we've got some chapstick, hair ties, a couple other fun things. This $70 value will get to you free matching your dirndl. Your passport holder will match your dirndl. So anyway, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed this collection too. Bye.